Mr. Pippin, you need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. This looks intriguing. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion. Rebellion. Leviosa. Incendio. Expelliant. Rebellion. Leviosa. Accio. 
Rebellion. Akio. What's that? Settled. Rebellion. 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 It's like a place right out of a storybook. Always late that pippin. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. 
If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Revelio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Wonder who lives here. Revelio.
Revelio. Hogsmeade, here I come. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. <laughs> 